Well, police have tracked down a man who they say made sexual comments, then groped a woman working at a Target store. Channel 2's Mike Pachenik talked to police who say the suspect made it very easy for them to identify him. So it's pretty shocking, especially in this area. Tia Venable Wilson works in this Holcomb Bridge Road shopping center nearby this now former Target store where police say a man groped an employee last fall. It kind of makes you on edge slightly because you're shopping and they're paying attention. Then you have those with children who are looking to the children. So, you know, just want to make you more aware of your surroundings. She was approached by a man who started coming up to her close and started making sexual comments to her and ultimately uh, started hugging her and, and pulling her in close. And Police say the suspect made it very easy for them to identify him. While he was leaving the store, he ended up filling out a comment card on the employee saying how wonderful she was and put his real name on there. Officer Lisa Holland says once officers identified Ira Davis, they issued a warrant for his arrest. It wasn't until last week that Sandy Springs police arrested Davis on an outstanding warrant after a suspicious person call. Well, at least I found him. Shopper Mary Freeman told me the attack surprises her. I, you know, that's kind of alarming and you don't know really what to think. That was Channel 2's Mike Pachenik reporting the man is facing sexual battery charges and a probation violation for a former theft case. He's in the Fulton County Jail.